word to describe me or one sentence? It's too hard to do just one word. <laughs> one word? <laughs> me? That's not easy. Here we go. An optimistic pessimist. Vegan. Whenever there is a negative, I try to find a positive. So maybe I'm positive. Interested in politics. I am more than a conqueror. I am the wild woman with the wagon. One word is eclectic. Optimistic. Volunteer. The thing about me is I manage to be happy. Passionate. Love everyone. A man who loves the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed. I am a fellow that likes to help other people. Creative. Fantastic. Ooh, full. October. Totally unpredictable. Cardboard. Comedy. I love to make people laugh. Flamboyant. <laughs> um, resilient, <laughs> uh, durable, <laughs> uh, and all that in a bag of chips. Patience. I am lively. A sentence. My oh my, God broke the mold when he made me. And, and you have to tell yourself all that before you can go to sleep Every each night. Every day. Every when night. I wake up in the morning too. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Innovative. Time hard. Willing to help others and very understanding. Optimism with craziness. It's a good mix. <laughs>
but I'm just so thankful for that day when Nikki said, did you know? A lot of people don't know. I had gotten a deadly disease a, a few years back. I should say contracted a, a very bad disease, illness. And uh, my best friend and partner here came to visit me almost every day. And uh, for the first month, I was uh, telling the doctors, who's that black man coming to visit me? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they would say, that's your best friend. And I said, no way. Something from your past. I know. That's so still in your future. A blast from your past. <laughs> and, and presently standing here. Yes. And so, you know, that's something very few people know that uh, uh, one philosophy that both Jimmy and I uh, follow very dearly is that in order to have a friend, you have to be a friend. And uh, he exemplified that by doing what very few people want to do, and that's go to a hospital to visit someone that's ill. Um, and he did that on a regular basis. Most people don't know about me is years ago, when I was thin and good looking, I was a member of a rock band. I was the lead singer for a satanic, heavy metal, devil-worshipping rock band. I thought I sold my soul to Satan, but his money's counterfeit. That's right, I've been bought with a price, the precious blood of the Lamb, and now I'm his, the Lord Jesus is that I'm not as sane as I look. I am four foot, seven inches tall. That sometimes I can be emotional, I can be shy. Well, I'm a good cook. Uh, I do most of the cooking at the house, so thank God for when I'm gonna prepare myself a good Louisiana gumbo. Uh, I can really shred it up with my aggressive inline skates. I love to help my Community. Most people do not know that everything I do, at least 90%, I present to God for approval before I do it. People don't know about Richard A. Claddy is that I'm a very kind, warm-hearted individual. They think I'm kind of a loopy, liberal lefty just because I was born in San Francisco. No, I've been here uh, for like 50 years now in Minnesota, and I feel the love. I'm into physics. I'm not good at it, but quantum physics and things like that, how the universe works, how uh, human consciousness works, that's because quantum physics is basically studying human consciousness and all that, so yeah. That I uh, love to make jewelry. I make beads, I make uh, bracelets, and I got a lot of artistic qualities in me that I like. Uh, crafts. People don't know I do crafts. Okay. Oh, I left Nigeria on the 10th day of November 1990, which means that today, the 10th day of November, makes it 26 years that I have been in this country. Most people don't know that I'm really as lively as I am and as outgoing as I am. I do have a pretty chill side. I can be very reserved on, at times, depending on the situation. Scuba diving. I'm a makeup artist for Planet of the Apes and, and werewolves and Frankensteins. Anybody out there who wants to be a werewolf or a Frankenstein or a Planet of the Apes, should talk to me. In fact, I'm planning to make rubberized masks out of old paper bags. Can I think about this for a second? <laughs> J.K. Rowling. Love to have dinner with my dad again. Hart Linklater. Are my kids and my grandkids. My husband. Ethel Merman. Probably Katy Perry. Beyonce. <laughs> Actor, it would be Gregory Peck. Or Jimmy Stewart. I love to have uh, dinner with my wife. Well, my mother, she's 92, soon to be 93 years old. God bless her soul. I would have to say Jesus. Jesus. President Obama. Michelle and Barack Obama. Right now it would be uh, Bob Dylan. Hey, he just won a Nobel uh, Prize for Literature. Albert Einstein. Elon Musk. I want to know when we're going to Mars. 
Well, I suppose it could be George Washington. Benjamin Franklin, my parents. It would be my children. My mother. James, the hardest working man in show business, Mr. Brown. James Brown. Young man went out and made a name for himself and been, has been on every record breaking show across the nation. Mr. James Brown. I guess he feels strongly about that. Um, I, th I think in my life, I would love to visit uh, and meet with Cahill Gabron, a uh, very, very famous uh, Lebanese poet philosopher. Does that make any sense?